You must have been wondering why I was displaying this super high definition picture of a leaf, right? For your information, a leaf is important to a plant just as how important a heart is to us human. They require oxygen for respiration and carbon dioxide for photosynthesis. Now let's take a closer look on what is under the leaf. Hmm, pretty sure right now you guys must be thinking what is this strange green thing is? For sure, this is not a top view of the mountain Ben Nevis in Scotland. Yes, this is also not the Eye of Sauron from Lord of the Rings. Nah, -uh. come on guys, this is not a cabbage. Well, this is in fact a microscopic view of a stoma. A stoma or plural stomata are any of the minute pores in the epidermis of the leaf or stem of a plant forming a slit variable width that allow movement of gases in and out of the intercellular spaces. Stomata are normally found on the underside of the leaf. It is true stomata plant obtain the gases they need. They require oxygen for respiration and carbon dioxide for photosynthesis. Let's move on to see regulation of stomatal opening and closing based on starch sugars hypothesis. Normally, the stomata is closed at night because there is no photosynthesis. When the gut cells do not undergo photosynthesis, no glucose is accumulated. The gut cells' water potential is higher than the adjacent cells. This causes the gut cells to become flaccid. Thus, stomata closes at night to prevent loss of water and gases. In general, stomata open by the day. During the day, the gut cells undergo photosynthesis due to the presence of chloroplast. As a result, glucose are accumulated in the gut cells. This will reduce gut cells' water potential, making water diffuses in from adjacent cells. This will make the gut cells to become turgid. Therefore, the stomata opens.